You may recall a previous video about the Sega Game Gear. Well, this was the other Sega Game Gear I had that didn't feature in the video. Because you can see, it doesn't work. It flashes on and off, and I've been putting off going into it because I really just can't be bothered. However, this recently fell into my lap, and it's a Kai Wheats screwdriver set. And if you remember Kai Wheats, they um, make voltmeters. Well, I say voltmeters. I think they're uh, multifunction voltage testers and they're pretty good i uh, use them at work and very pleased with them so this screwdriver set caught my eye it's the es20 it says electric screwdriver andle now we all have those big electric screwdrivers like your dewalt's and black and deckers and whatnot however i think this this smaller type of electric screwdriver could be useful when it comes to doing tedious things with lots of screws like these. I was getting ahead of myself, of course, because we haven't even opened the bloody thing and it might need charging. Let's have a quick look at the manual. It's blah, 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 manual, beware of this, that, magnetise, demagnetise, and there's a picture of one of these, maybe there's one in it, who knows? We don't need that. To be honest with you, if you need a manual to operate a screwdriver, there's something seriously wrong with you. Oh my word, it's a tool pouch. Now, that is a beauty to behold. My gosh, that definitely is everything you need. Just notice something as I was flipping this over. I'm gonna zoom out a bit, well, that's all I've got. What's this in here? Oh, mobile phone repair tool screw memory mat. Is this a magnetic thing? Um, it is a bit magnetic. Well, yeah, that seems to be a magnetic uh, pouch. I think the idea is you put all your little screws in order. That's kind of cute. Just pop that back into its sheath. And here is a little tool that's come out. Oh, look at that. They actually are stitched in and they rotate around. Now, can you pull these out? Nope, they, they really are stitched in. They're not going nowhere, which is cute. What else do we have? Before we go into the screwdriver, you have a I don't know what this is, some sort of palette knife. Imagine you'd use it for applying oil-based paints onto canvas. A, uh, I guess a universal joint, which a uh, universal coupling, have you want to call it? That's actually quite good, look at that. To go around corners and bends. A spludger, a uh, brush, a tweezers, a USB charging lead, and what looks an awful lot like an extension, good. And it does have a magnetizer, demagnetizer, even though it's not quite as big and butch as my original one. Well, okay, let's not beat about the bush anymore and get into this. Mm. Then we'll have a little look at those bits to see what it offers, because I'm always interested in the bits. There's the driver, so you've got a... I'm going to move this out of the way a little bit, because it's quite dark. It's sucking out all the light like a black hole. There you go, you've got USB-C charger, and it does look like a clear transparent back, so there's probably an LED in there, that'll be my guess. There's a hole here, gosh knows what that is for, maybe it's a speaker. Oh, now I do hear motoring, and I can see motoring, look at that. It does have a little gearbox, and there's a button there I think is operating the light, well. I guess there's really not much more to be said. That's what it does. Just like literally any other electric screwdriver, you've got a forwards button and you've got a backwards button. So, this is though where it really, the, the, the pedal hits the metal, the rubber hits the road, and all of the other car-based metaphors uh, is the tools you get here. Now, um, kind of hard to fit them all in, so we'll just focus on it a little bit at a time. So here you have all of the Phillips, yeah, I'd say they're Phillips screws, plus a few little torques, because you're going from the T1, T2s, because on the next row down, you've got the T2s all the way up to the T20s, and then the T5Hs, which is where you're getting into security screw territory, which is always nice, and there you've got a few more down here. Jumping across then, actually these are the posi drive then, you have Phillips at the top, posi drive a little bit further down, it's quite good though, they're not next to each other so you don't get confused, and then a selection, look at that, that's your tri-blade screwdrivers, which are a bit unusual, but very useful if you're working on Nintendo stuff, of course. And then your flats. You've got a lot here. You've got a ones, twos. There's many of each. You can see there's many of each, though. Look, right up to a size four, which, frankly, for 
you know, consumer electronics, benchtop electronics, are you, are you really going to see much action of the slots? It doesn't matter. Because you go ahead, you've got your star drive. Look at that. And that is actually quite interesting. So if, just to compare and contrast, don't confuse them with Torx. To Torx had, look, one, two, three, four, five, six ends, whereas the star only has five. So that's actually super unusual to see those. Again, security screw territory. And then you're onto your hex, which are really useful. So you don't have to get the other Allen keys. Back down to more security screw shapes. So you've got your triangles, your little outer bits with the bits chopped off. I mean, actually, sometimes you can use these in place of those if you've got one big enough. So yeah, kind of handy. Uh, square drive, and then look at these weird old stub stubs. These are like, they call them MIDs. I've never seen these before. It's like a truncated... Um, Phillips screw really it's like a truncated Phillips I think that's the best way to describe it and then the last row again um, whatever this is FS it look it's a very flat wedge shaped thing here I mean I don't know why you need that and then you've got this weird one look at that what's that for it's actually got a bend in it <laughs> called a PB and then you've got a couple of ones which are just sharp points and then a little set of mini sockets from 2.5, 3, 3.5, 4, 4.5, 5.5, 5 .5, and then you're jumping to these 3.8, um, uh, basically the reverse of a Torx, aren't they? I can't remember what you call those, but they are, um, wherever that tool is, I literally just showed you and just slung away. Yes, here we go. The same sort of thing that you get on a cartridge although admittedly it does look a little bit on the small side but we will see because the old game gear does have one of those so let's see if that actually fits and it does fit so there you go it's a g 4.5 apparently and we'll be giving that one a go in fact why don't we make that the first bit we're going to try so we're going to pop the old driver in there so just have a quick little feel that is obviously magnetic you can feel it locking in you can maybe hear that click click i like that now i like that a lot but i'm not going to use the extension i think we're going to go in raw now really could this possibly have enough torque who knows let's pop that in now i can i can actually twist the driver i can feel it i can feel the little gears inside so it must have a little planetary gearbox inside i mean are these actually able to well, it did. <laughs> and I was even able to give it a little bit of a twist at the beginning. So, I mean, what's the, got to think of what's the use case on these, you know. Are they to really put a lot of torque onto something or just help you get it going? Right, we're just looking for an appropriate posi drive. Now, this is where it could become a little bit trickier because, look, some things are recessed quite deep. So if these don't go in deep enough, they're not really going to be much utility to you. I'm just testing this out. It's, uh, oh, that's a really. I got a really thick one there. That wasn't engaging. There you go. So we've got one engaging. I'm going to put the other bit back. The G4.5. Let's see if we can get these out. Now, I do believe I've been in this um, Game Gear before. See, now it's, it's blocking it off. Again, admittedly, I haven't charged this, but I'm going to hold it down. See, if I twist it without holding it, it doesn't really go, but I'm going to. See, just give it that little twist. All right, come on. See how it's not, it's a combination really. It's, it's not really getting over the hump, but at the same time it's also slipping. So not too pleased right now. I've got to choose a better bit. Okay, this feels much better. This is a Philips size one. Yes. There we go. Let's do the next one. You see, I'm helping it, but using it like a ratchet. It's probably not how it's supposed to be made, but it does work. There's two screws out already. And what you can do, I like this, the old tube it comes in, super handy. I'm going to pop the old screws in the tube. I know it came with a little magnetic thing, but I'm very, uh, what's the word, clumsy and likely to knacker it. Look, there you go, that one that just needed the seal broken and then it went off itself. I reckon giving it that little twist is fine. <laughs> yeah, this could be my new favourite tool. <laughs> I've got something at work that requires... Oh, gosh. 
just to get the cover off is six screws, but internally it's got, I want to say something like 16 screws. And to do any work on it, you have to just literally jump in there and do all the 16 screws just before you can even start. Now this would be super handy. They are torque screws, so this will have the right bit for it. So I'm just going to get into this battery bay. Yeah, I knew there would be a couple more in here. Now I was positive, this is one of the game gears that is already recapped. I got this from Scott's Game Asylum way back, way back at one of the Play Expos. I haven't spoken to him for a long while. I hope he's doing well. I'm not very good at uh, keeping in touch with people. But I was sure when I got that off him, we did a video about recapping it. I could be wrong though. But that's why it was super annoying when I made that Sega Game Gear screen video and found that this one wasn't working anymore because I was kind of sure I had gone in there. So let's have a look. And I promise you it isn't a... Uh... Oh! Hello. Now, I'm mega confused. Look at this. This is, this is an interesting one. Look at these caps. Are these the original caps? Or not? <laughs> I'm not seeing loads of juice. This looks really clean. This is way better condition than the Retro Taku broken game gear that I had. This is really nice. Crikey, I, I'll have to take a lot of care on this one. But these, these look like the original caps, but they're almost too good. I just expected sort of horrible juicy stuff in here, but no, it's all nice. So it's, uh, I think we can pretend that I fixed it. Yeah, that's great, it works super well. I'm gonna put the screws here now on this little pad. Yeah, they seem, seem nicely textured that it's not gonna roll them away. And let's just see if we can wind this thing back in. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wind it until the screwdriver, you know, feels like it's stopping. And I can show you now how much deflection's there. So it's not quite bit it. So if I put that in manually and just start twisting it, so I put it in manually, I'm going to twist it manually. You know, there's a few old twists left to really get it to bite. But there was a weird feeling there. It almost feels like it locks up once you start twisting it. So let's just try that again. Oops. You know, almost if there's a, a friction clutch. So it's winding it in. So now it's getting slow. So if I twist it, yeah, it, it definitely feels like it's locking, like you're supposed to do that. I was looking in the instructions to see whether or not it has anything about that whole me rat ratcheting it. Um, it does say when using it for the first time you should charge it up, but something more interestingly, this button that activates the light, it does say it's a torque adjust, hold it for three seconds, so one. Do you see that? There's definitely a slow and a fast mode. Let's see what the difference is between them. It says torque adjustment, but does it just mean speed? Ooh, okay. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, that did torque it all the way in. Nice, and we haven't even charged it yet. We're just breaking all the rules. I do like this torch in the end as well. That is actually quite handy because often when you poke stuff in, they don't quite go in the right hole. Story of my life. And I'm going to just manually, yep, that manual turn was only about an eighth of a turn that time. That is stonking, that is. Now, this is a nice visible one. I'm going to zoom in so we can get the full glory, uh, gory and glory later when I watch it back on TV. Yeah, and there you go, it's taken it right in. Yeah, it did slow down towards the end, but yeah, not being fully charged. I mean, it does feel to me like it's starting to run out of juice. I mean, how big a battery can be in that? So it should really be giving it the benefit of that. Right, now I'm gonna, Use the other torque mode, so that's the other torque mode. Oh, it's definitely slower. Oh, look. It's, it feels like it wants to be done at that. Are you ready? I'm just gonna do it again. 
Now let's do the other talk mode. Hold down the button, three seconds. Okay, let's see what happens. Try your best. Oh yeah! Yeah boy, that's it. I do like this. Last screw. Screw you. And it's that weird one. Oh, oh, oh. oh okay. It almost went in the cartridge slot. Now I wish this was magnetized. Hey, don't worry, you have a magnetizer. So let's try it. Poking it through. Now, if you haven't got one of these, by the way, definitely get the magnetizer demagnetizer. That is one of the most useful things. Are these, yeah, but it, you should be able to pick it up with a magnetizer. Why is no, am I not magnetizing this? Hang on, maybe I'm not inserting it deep enough into the, the magnetizer. How many times do you think you need it? Generally, it's not very often. That's better. But which is magnetized? This or this? Let's see. Remove this. <laughs> it's funny. I don't. Maybe the material of this socket isn't magnetizable. Anyway, don't matter. It doesn't really matter. We'll just use it on full extension. Here we go. Oh yes. Oh 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 oh. Done. You could hear it. The torque was too much at times, but we got it in the end. Right, well, I'm just going to put this aside. I don't think we need to really play any more of this busted game gear. Although I am going to be up all night wondering why such, such a thing with such beautiful capacitors has to have them all replaced. Now, what do we feel about this? Hmm. Well, before I really make pass a judgment, I am going to give it one quick charge. So it's the next morning. It's the next morning, so I thought it'd be interesting to try to have a qualitative measure of the talk. And the best way I could think was to put this uh, bit back in and try to drive screws that we've already driven in that little bit further. So it's had the full charge all night, and it's hard to tell really if it's stronger or not. However, let's have a look. Let's, we're going to zoom right in so we don't want to miss any of that lovely detail. And I've got it in front of me. Locating now. Ready. Three, two, one. <laughs> it didn't turn the screw, but look at the driver. The driver's got some kick in it. Now, I'm wondering that's because I probably really locked off that screw. But let's have a look. I just want to see if it can get them out faster or... I don't know. I don't know if it's made an appreciable bit of difference, really. So that's the other mode. Let's see what that one is, if that's the, that's the slow speed. Yeah, so you can definitely see it can barely put that screw in in the slow speed. And then in the... Uh, high speed, high torque, it definitely can drive it. So I guess what we've been observing is what it does. So the real question is though, would I recommend it after playing with it? Um, I would say yes. Currently on their website, it's 36 pounds, which is not particularly cheap, right? These, however, these days with inflation, everything, everything's a bit more expensive. But look at what you're getting. If you don't have any kind of precision screwdriver set, and I have to admit that I tend to use this one, you've seen it, and it's lasted me a few years. I don't know how much I paid for it, maybe a tenner. Uh, uh, clearly it doesn't come with as many tips as this does. In fact, this comes with a, a real major annoyance is that when you tighten the bits in here, you think, oh, that's great, that's super long. But when you actually go to use it, you can see it slides back, often to the point where it actually pushes out this handle. So it's, it's pros and cons. I mean, it's pretty hard to really break these. However, if this was an option at the time for similar money, I probably would have had it because of I'm not only just getting the bits, I'm getting the driver, the extension bar, the uh, spludgers, tweezers, you know, all the little accessories really that are useful for tearing stuff down. I mean, you've got a whole selection here of guitar pick type case poppers. So it's quite neat, really. If you're into like maybe, uh, I'd say, repairing mobile phones, it could be quite good because definitely I've seen these 
micro T1 Torx things on iPhones and the like. Something we didn't try was this thing though. This looks quite fun. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You can, s at those extreme angles, you're putting a lot of pressure on the tip there. No, that's okay. Yeah, 36 quid. What do you think down below? Is it worth 36 quid? Let's continue the chat on Discord. And as ever, thank you for watching.